in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. Viewers, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is known to have three important terms in a year. Each term contains four months. The first term is April, which marks the arrest, torture, crucifixion, death and resurrection of Christ. The second term is August, a period of divine revelations. December heralds the birth of the Savior of the world. But of this, August is the most significant. Because of the inherent revelations and events, and this is the discursant concern today. Viewers, with me are three Sabbath children of Brotherhood of the Crescent From my far left is Brother M.M. M. Joseph. Beside him is a sister. She is Sister of Fonuwe Mukun and Sister Peace Wemukun. Peace so there are ye to share their views. Please give us your time. Brother Imam, let me start with you. Listeners, I'm here to speak about the significance of August. These are few revelations about the month of August. Our Lord Jesus Christ was due for his baptism in the month of August. This same August, God revealed Christ to John the Baptist. John 1 verse 29 confirmed this. Still in August, Christ located John the Baptist in River Jordan and requested for his baptism. The month of August revealed Christ to the world during his baptism when a voice from God proclaimed, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Matthew 3 verse 17 confirmed this. While undergoing baptism, Christ received confirmation for his ministry and assignment on earth, which came in form of a dwarf and lightning upon him. This was the symbol of authority. Matthew 3 verse 16 confirmed this. Also, in this important month, Nathaniel, the Israelite, with no guilt, found Christ, as stated in John 1 verse 45 to 50. The new kingdom of God on earth, brotherhood of the cross and star, was as well found on August and lost more. Let me pause there for now. Thank you, Brother Amen. Your views were a mess. Sister Alphafon, can we hear your perception? Yes, of course. Viewers, as far as August is concerned, I have so much to say. But let me start by saying that there has been a physical being in the world since 1918 with spiritual content. The spiritual content he has is that he has all the spiritual virtues of God in him. He is the Holy Spirit clothed in man's fur. As a day old baby, he made the blind woman to regain her sight at a mere touch of his hand. At age three, this child instructed his kinsmen and family members, saying, Call me a teacher and a leader. I have come to teach and lead the world to the accurate knowledge of truth. The being I'm talking about is the Da Olumba Olumba Obu, the sole spiritual head of the universe, on challenge. This is the name and genealogy which no man can lay claims to. From infant, he speaks only the word of God. He has never associated himself with anything except the word of God. As it is, who would you say he is? That is food for thought. Viewers, it is worthy to note that the two spiritual leaders, that is, our Lord Jesus Christ and Lida Olumba Olumba Obu were being made on August. Yes, because Christ was made known during baptism in River Jordan and Lida Olumba Olumba Obu was made known in 1958, 8 August. That was on it on day during Brotherhood First Outing. 
August is the secret month and mother of all months because it creates awareness for the new name of God to be heard. In Brotherhood Kingdom, August confirms the revelations of John the Divine in his book, chapter 7, verse 9, which he says, After this, I behold, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and tongues stood before the Lamb and before the truth, clothed with white robes. Thank you, Sister for fun. Sister Peace, can we hear your tech? Yes, my moderator. About 2,000 and above years ago, a being emerged in Israel, but was rejected, persecuted, and killed shamefully. His assignment was to redeem mankind to his father, God. Before he died, he assured the world that he would pray his father to send a comforter who will remain with us till the end of the world, which is eternity, because the world has no end. You can find this in John 14 verse 16. The being I'm referring to is our Lord Jesus Christ. The question is, was Christ taken serious at all? Was he not given many derogatory names? Is it not the same Christ that was rejected and is being shouted everywhere by every Christian? Jesus, blood of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Every time we are provoked, even at the slightest one. What kind of a world is this? Why do we depend on history? instead of focusing on the fact that we are in the present. Now, in 1918, another supreme being emerged in Africa, precisely the town, and brought love in practice. He comes with the new kingdom of God, brotherhood of the cross and star. This being has never acquired any plot to build himself a house, has never bought or drive a car, has never put on any shoe, nor used any body cosmetic like cream, body spray, and perfume. He has speaks all the world's standard languages and dialects. He has never been to school, yet his wisdom is beyond human comprehension. Above all, he has never traveled anywhere but is seen everywhere at the same time. I'll ask, who do you think he is? Is he taken serious at all? I am really impressed by the continuity and the similarity that exists between our Lord Jesus Christ and Lida Olumba Olumba Obu. And this should register something in the minds of true Christians which is continuity. Now, let's take the few similarities of these two spiritual leaders. These personalities, our Lord Jesus Christ and Leda Olumba Olumba Obu, are born of women. They had parents. They are from humble backgrounds. Their emergence is very confusing and it makes their identity tongue wagging. It had a mysterious nature. Both of them are what of God made man. They come with divine tasks known to them. They operate in ministries of evangelism, evangelizing souls for salvation. Prophecies brought these personalities. They feast their members, using food to call their desired members. They are soul winners. They had and have followers. They baptize by immersion. They are miracle workers. They were hated and labeled by people. They cherished children. Loved the women than the men. Their dress code is garment and they condemn sins in totality. Above all, 
they are the CEOs. And what I mean by CEOs are the Chief Executive Officers of the Trinity. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Peace. Your tech were well digested. Without wasting time, can anybody round up for us? Yes, of course. The month of August during the era of Christ and Lida Olumba Olumba Upu was and is a period to mark the official and physical reunification of God with man after the last glory in the Garden of Eden. I am convinced that there is a continuation somewhere. August deserves to be celebrated for heralding the sudden manifestation of the supernatural teacher, the captivating sermonizer, the maker on maid, and the word of God made flesh in this generation finally. Thank you, Father. Viewers, we have come to the end of our talk. See you ahead next time. My name is Sister Dati Benadenieta. Bye-bye.